is it. Kim wins immunity and a guaranteed <laughs> spot at the final tribal council. I won the immunity challenge today. It was awesome. That was the one I've been wanting, you know? I mean, I know you have to take it challenge by challenge, but to know, like, to go tonight knowing that it's not me, it feels awesome. Don't be sorry. It's all part of the game and everything, so, you know, I made it all the way to the final four. You so. did badass, girl. All righty. But I love you. I love you, too. I am taking had a hell personal. of a good time with I you. Know. I'm tired, just really, really ready for this to all be over. Yeah. Is that good? Christina just came up to me and said, I'd rather just know. And I was like, it's you. Really? We hug. I mean, it's like, it's hard to not take her. Because I feel like she doesn't get any votes. I know. So. The interesting thing about Christina's response is that she literally didn't fight for it. I feel like I did make my decision to go with Chelsea and Sabrina, but I think I'm starting to second guess myself. Like up until this point, there was less at stake, you know, I and mean, it's like there were more chances to go home. And I mean, the decision is going to change who I sit there at the end with. I think if I do take Christina, then I really don't think she could get one vote. And I do think Sabrina will receive quite a few more votes than Christina would. So I'm going to try to just make what I think is the best decision for myself in this game. 15th person voted out and the ninth and final member of our jury. Christina, need to bring me a torch? Yeah. Day 39. May the best woman win. Yes. Cheers. 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 This year has been kind of a tough year for me. I just recently got divorced and, you know, coming out of a really tough marriage um, after almost four years, you look back and you're like, man, I got married to this person and wow, it really doesn't work. You, it sort of shakes something in you. So coming out here, and having to make decisions quickly day in and day out and have them work and, and get to sit here at the end and say, wow, those decisions worked out and it went really well. I've definitely gained some of my confidence back and trusting myself, trusting my discernment, my intuition, and there hasn't been a wrong turn. I'm excited to, to take this and take it back to my real life. Kim. I love this game. I've always seen it as a game. Coming into it, I thought I saw it as poker, and you do everything you can do to, to sit here at the end of this game. And so that's where my head was walking into this. I thought, no rules, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna play as hard as I possibly can. That's all I know to do. I strategized until I was blue in the face, and I'm proud of the way that I played it strategically. I don't know how I could have done it any better. And every time I sent one of you home, um, that took a toll on me, and that's been really, really hard. But every time I was tempted to make a decision within this game, I thought of my family back home and the things that you wanted to, to provide them with and the things that you wanted to do with the money to change their lives and how I'd known you all for 20 or 30 days, but how they've been pouring themselves into me for years and years. And so I hope that you all can forgive me. I hope that you all can see it as a game. Um, because that's how I came into it. I can't even say I would take it back because my end goal was to sit here, and I'm sitting here tonight. The winner of Survivor won. Yeah!